Good evening. This is your AI host, Jay. I'm here with the automatically generated Jernita evening headlines on March 6, 2022. Thousands of people detained at latest anti-war protests in Russia. The independent, Russian police beat protesters with batons during country-wide rallies against occupation of Ukraine. The Telegraph, Russia, more than 2,500 detained at anti-war protests in 49 cities. The Irish Times, Moscow police detained children laying flowers at Ukrainian embassy, video. Russian forces fire rockets at physics institute in Kharkiv with nuclear reactor inside. The independent, Russian forces firing rockets at physics institute containing nuclear reactor. Kherson diary, the Russians fire a warning shot. But people are not afraid. The Guardian, Kherson is not broken vows protester standing in defiance against Russia. ITV News, Ukraine, Nottinghamshire woman worried for family's safety. BBC, gunfire reportedly heard as Ukrainians rally in Kherson against Russia's occupation. Guardian News, defiant Ukrainian climbs on top of Russian tank to wave national flag. Ukraine invasion, has World War III already started? Some security experts believe existential global conflict has begun. The products being removed by UK supermarkets after the Russian invasion of Ukraine. The independent, Russian Lidl supermarket Mir closing UK shop due to Ukraine invasion. Devon Live, Issa Brothers, Asda provide £1 million package for Ukrainian families and remove Russian products from sale. Lancashire Telegraph, bargain Russian Lidl store near Leeds which was due to open soon could now be completely scrapped. Leeds Live, future of Yorkshire's Russian Lidl store in serious doubt as Mir scraps UK expansion plans. Biden rises to the moment as Ukraine makes battle against autocracy real. Russia's economy is under siege, but will the West break first? The Guardian, our backs are against the wall on energy, but it's not Putin's fault. The Times, the week in business, guns versus economic sanctions. The New York Times, the West has declared all-out financial war with Russia. What does this mean? The Guardian, the bleak market outcome for Russia after Ukraine invasion. BBC Ukrainian editor, my mother called to say Shed managed to buy bread. Ukraine invasion, five miles away from Kyiv, this town is being heavily bombed, and civilians are fleeing however they can. Sky News, moment Russian strikes hit civilian escape route in a pin, Ukraine. The Telegraph, at least three civilians killed in shelling by Russian forces near Kyiv. The New York Times, journalists, locals run from heavy shelling in Ukraine's a pin. Reuters, screaming in fear, running for their lives, civilians die for cover as bombs fall on their only route out of a pin. Tens of thousands join rallies around the world in support of Ukraine. The Guardian, Ukraine invasion, protesters gather in London's Trafalgar Square in show of solidarity with Ukrainian people. Sky News, protesters gather in London against the Russian invasion of Ukraine. The Independent, thousands join rallies around the world in solidarity with Ukraine, video. The Guardian, protesters gather in London to brand Putin a delusional lunatic and bully. Leave no stone unturned, how investigators gather evidence of war crimes in Ukraine. The Guardian, ICJ to hear urgent application by Ukraine as concern over war intensifies. The Irish Times, Ukraine invasion, met police appeals to war crimes victims in UK to contact them as part of International Criminal Court investigation. Sky News, Kareem Khan, the very modern British barrister, heading ICC's Russia inquiry. The Guardian, met police to help gather evidence of Putin's war crimes for hate court. Erdogan urges Putin to declare Ukraine ceasefire and make peace. Reuters, EU confidential, Europe's historic shift on Russia, inside the war in Ukraine, Turkey's role. Politico Europe, Erdogan urges Putin to sign peace agreement in Ukraine during phone call. The Irish Times, Erdogan will tell Putin to stop Ukraine war in call on Sunday spokesman. Reuters, Turkey's Erdogan tells Putin that an urgent ceasefire would ease humanitarian problems and pave the way for political solution. Ukraine invasion, UK not leading the way on sanctions against Russian oligarchs close to Vladimir Putin. Sky News, MPs seeking fast-track freeze on oligarchs' assets before formal sanctions. 
The Guardian, Michael Gove accused of Corbyn approach over seizure of oligarchs' lavish UK homes. The Telegraph, MPs rebel on sanctions that may let tycoons hang on to £1.5 billion. The Times, Boris Johnson suggests fear of brick wall of lawyers has stalled sanctions on Roman Abramovich. This gives me faith in humanity, Ukrainian Airbnb hosts respond as thousands make bookings they won't use. The Independent, Ukraine refugees could be rehomed in Suffolk Airbnbs. East Anglian Daily Times, Airbnb rentals saw in Kyiv as alternative act of charity. The Times, hundreds of people are booking Ukrainian Airbnbs, influencer behind Solidarity Scheme explains why. The Independent, heartwarming way people are using Airbnb and Etsy to support Ukrainians. Boris Johnson News, UK Deputy PM says, Putin must fail, and rules out Ukraine no-fly zone. The Independent, Ukraine invasion, Putin must fail, PM's six-point plan for resolving crisis ahead of talks with world leaders. Sky News, Russia-Ukraine war, latest news update, March 5, 2022. Bloomberg, PM wants humanitarian coalition for Ukraine as part of six-point plan. The Independent, Ukraine invasion, U.S. Ambassador given dressing down by Kremlin over Graham's assassinate Putin call. Iowa, seven killed including two children as U.S. state is hit with 206 miles per hour tornado. Sky News, Winterset tornado, six people killed, including two children, as 165 miles per hour wind strike. The Mirror, tornadoes hit Iowa and kill seven, including two young kids, as wild weather destroys homes in Des Moines. The Sun, update, seven now dead after evening tornadoes, top stories. KWWL.com, two children under five among seven people killed by powerful tornado as twister sweeps through Iowa. Ukraine invasion, civilians cower on the ground with shells exploding overhead as they flee Russian assault. Visa and MasterCard suspend Russian operations amid shocking and devastating invasion. The Independent, Visa and MasterCard will both suspend operations in Russia. The Guardian, financial system withstands first week of Russia sanctions. Financial Times, Ukraine invasion, Visa and MasterCard announce suspension of operations in Russia. Sky News, MasterCard and Visa block in Russia does not stop domestic purchases. Belarus has effectively ceded control to Kremlin, says opposition leader. The Guardian, puppet state. How Putin's war could drive Belarus deeper into Russia's clutches. The Independent, Sviatlana Sikhanouskaya, I'm sure Ukraine will win this war. The Times, Lukashenko backquote tricked us, exiled Belarus opposition leader says. Bloomberg, why is Belarus supporting Russia and how is it involved in Ukraine? Ukraine has fastest growing refugee crisis since Second World War, says UN. The Guardian, Ukraine Russia News, children, among three civilians killed near Kyiv while fleeing. The Independent, Mariupol evacuation attempt fails again after Russia breaks ceasefire. ITV News, Ukraine official says assault halts evacuations for second time. Chester and District Standard, UN agency, number of Ukrainian refugees hits 1.5 million. This was all for the news. Thanks for listening. Please do not forget to like and subscribe.